the Joe Rogan experience. We were talking earlier about probiotics. Do, do, is there a benefit of probiotics once you've taken antibiotics to reflourish your gut uh, flora? You know, that's where the studies really at this point have demonstrated that it's very temporary. In other words, if you're taking probiotics, you can get a boost initially, but it doesn't sustain itself over time. And then the natural flora comes back. I mean, the, the, the gut microbes will come back as, as they've been reduced. But what I'm saying is, uh, is it beneficial to people if they do take a probiotic after antibiotics? Because yeah. antibiotics do have a devastating effect on your flora. Yeah. It kills the bad stuff, but it also kills a lot of the good stuff, right? Yeah. So is it beneficial for people once they have taken an antibiotic to take right. probiotics to sort of reflourish at least temporary? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying is that it, it doesn't – There's the data don't support that it stays. In other words, you get a short-term boost. Uh, and it gives you some of the new good bacteria, mm -hmm. but they don't stay around. But what if you just keep taking it? Even then, they, they just don't stay around. Your normal gut flora will come back and take over. So the probiotics in of themselves are not giving you that long-term boost. That so you don't think there's any benefit to having even even a short-term boost? Well, you know, it's again, uh, I, I surely I'm not going to profess to be the expert on probiotics, but right. I'll tell you that the data we have doesn't show that they have a big boost and, and that they actually help you long-term or short-term, meaning that it makes any difference. Now, there's one exception to that where I would say, and this is a very different thing than probiotics, but um, we actually have a disease called Clostridium difficile, which is an, an, a bad bacteria that happens when you've taken way too many antibiotics and, and it colonizes your gut because you don't have competing organisms there, and then you can die from this. There are treatments for that called actually fecal transplants. Yeah, I've heard of that. And that's where actually there you take it in little capsules, but it's actually... You're drinking poop, well, swallowing purified, poop. purified bugs from the poop. You're right. But you take purified. that, and then that's, that's, that kind of is what you're talking about. That does have a real benefit. Mm. And there is clear evidence that if you take those, those fecal transplants as opposed to just probiotics as such, that that can have a major positive impact on your recovery from things like Clostridium difficile infection. And so more and more institutions now actually are doing fecal transplants, which you'd never thought that that would be one thing you'd do one day. But right. for those who've had this problem, they're, they're life-saving. They're amazing. Maybe we should change the name. That would, although on the other hand, it, <laughs> it, you don't forget it if you <laughs> right. You don't that's forget true. It. <laughs> yeah, you don't forget if it's a fecal transplant. But that's yeah. what's going to be. Yeah. Nerve wracking to people. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know, once you're that sick, boy, it feels good to take it. It does. You know. Have you done it? I've never done it. I've never had a, a problem where I've had to. But but for the I've know people who have been desperately sick who have taken them and have really done much better, much much better. 